In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to expose Tuxedo services as a web service using Oracle Salt 12C. Before we get into the demonstration, let me provide you with a brief overview of what Salt is. Salt stands for Service Architecture Leveraging Tuxedo. Service here means web service. What Salt really is, is a SOAP over HTTP gateway for Tuxedo. It was created in the spirit of Tuxedo to be a fast and reliable way to expose Tuxedo services as web services or to access web services from Tuxedo. SALT is standards based because it is designed to let Tuxedo applications either operate across vastly heterogeneous environments. Standards supported include WS Security, SAML Single Sign-On, WS Reliable Messaging, WS Atomic Transactions, WS Addressing, and for attachments, WS MTOM. Here is a picture of where SALT fits in Tuxedo. The heart of SALT is the web services gateway through which all web services requests transit. One of the biggest benefits of SALT is that no coding is required in order to expose Tuxedo services as web services. This means that applications remain untouched. Everything is done through configuration. SALT is a scalable and highly available solution. You can have hundreds and thousands of Tuxedo services exposed. SALT also delivers the best performance with the lowest latency achievable. Exposing Tuxedo services as web services is as simple as it can be. Now that you know about SALT, let's go to the demo. We have a stockbroker application running on Tuxedo. What we see here is an existing Jolt-based client which calls the Tuxedo application using ATMI calls and invoking a number of Tuxedo services. Using the command line tm admin tool, I can see the list of services running in this application. What I'm going to do is expose some of these Tuxedo services as web services so they can be invoked using a SOAP-based client or web services tools such as Beeple, JAX programs, and so on. The first step is to add a web services gateway to the running up Tuxedo application. Adding a gateway to the Tuxedo configuration dynamically can be, can be done using the Tuxedo MIP. There is no need to stop and restart the application. I have a script created to do just that, and I'm going to run that script now. This is a very simple script. Once the gateway is added to the configuration and is running, we can bring up the configuration tool in a browser. At the beginning, we did not see any Tuxedo services listed here. In order to expose Tuxedo services as a web service, we need service definitions in a Tuxedo metadata repository. A service definition tells you the service name and the description of the contract between client and server. There are two ways to populate the metadata repository with service definitions. One is to manually enter those definitions and the other is to let SALT do it automatically. SALT has this nice feature that can discover service definitions dynamically. All you have to do is turn discovery on and make a few calls to the services. This results in service definitions being stored in the repository. I'm going to activate service definition discovery. Now I will use the existing Jolt client to make some service calls. We'll check the stock price, check the account, and see if orders are pending. Back in the configuration tool, I hit refresh. 
and what we see here are the services that have been discovered when I was playing with the application. The same service called with a different contract will generate a separate entry in the repository. Here we can see what kind of information is exchanged when the service is called. If we want to publish these services as a web service, we also need to publish this information and that is the purpose of the Tuxedo Service Metadata Repository. This tool allows you to manually create or edit individual service definitions, as I mentioned earlier. Once, the, once I have the service definitions I need, I can start the process of exposing them as a web service. As a reminder, a web service is a collection of operations. What I will do is turn these service definitions into those operations. I will select these two services click expose as a web service enter a name for this definition choose an endpoint name for the binding and the group of operations I can also enter more details, such as standard web services policies. This is if I need to use security or reliable messaging features. For this demo purpose, I'm going to keep it simple and not specify any of these operation optional attributes. Once done, I click Create. At this point, all the required configuration to expose Tuxedo services as web services has been prepared. I see that the new web service definition named broker has been created and is in the pending state. In order to make this service available as a web service, I need to restart the gateway. The gateway can be restarted using TM shutdown and, and TM boot. I will use a little script I have to do just that. Once the gateway has been restarted, I refresh the configuration tool and now I see the broker web service is no longer in, in pending state. To see what the broker service is, I click on it for more details. Now I can also see the WSDL or Web Services interface for the Tuxedo services. This also tells me the Tuxedo services are now available for invocation as web services using SOAP over HTTP. And at this point, we are done publishing Tuxedo services as a web service. But now I will perform a test to actually see web services in action. This is a test page that's going to make SOAP over HTTP calls. Only the payload sent and received is shown for simplicity's sake. I will change the values inside the name element and invoke the web service. This will result in getting a different reply to a message each time. To finish with testing, let's take a look at TM admin after making the calls. The services in question have increased. This is it. We just went from an existing Tuxedo application, exposed a couple of its services as web service, 
Then we tested one of the operations to see it in action. This was actually done in real time to show you how easily and quickly Tuxedo services can be exposed as web services. I hope this was useful for you. For more information, visit the Tuxedo page on OTN. Thank you.